Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rebecca Keppel. Everywhere on Instagram and all over vlogs, it seems like everyone is making slimline cards and I wanted to figure out why. So for today's video, I have six reasons why I think everyone's making slimline cards and I have six cards to share with you to give you some ideas on how to make slimline cards too. Today's video is another episode of Support Small Card Making Businesses. You can check out the rest of the videos in that series over here. And in today's video, we are using products from Pink Fresh Studio because they have lots of fun products for slimline cards, but also just lots of fun products in general. But for right now, let's dive into six reasons why everyone is making slimline cards. First reason why I think everyone's making slimline cards is just because they're popular. Lots and lots of card makers are excited about the trend and want to try it out for themselves. I know for myself, I was excited to try out slimline cards and wanted to use some products that were specifically made for them. So I'm using Pink Fresh Studios Slim Stitched Rectangle Dies. Those are the blue cardstock. That other long die there that I'm cutting the white with is the Slim Edgers die. I'm going to use some VersaFine Black on ink to stamp my sentiment on that white die cut piece there and that's going to go at the top of my card so basically the slim stitched rectangle dies comes with two stitched rectangles and then two non-stitched rectangles so you can layer them on top of each other and you can have kind of that wider slim card or the very slim card which is what I'm making right now I also am using the pink fresh studios color block rainbow die which cuts out that arc of the rainbow and I'm cutting it all out in white cardstock so that I can ink blend on all of those rays and then just glue it back in to the arc that we've die cut on the left there and I am using my waffle flower water media mat the mini mat to ink blend on because it's really easy to clean up that distress oxide ink I'm just going to trim anything that hung off the side there and then you can see they're both the same color but I adhered a plain rectangle onto a stitched rectangle now I'm using the Simply Sentiments Hello stamp set to stamp hello and uh, a small little friend there on the side. And I'm doing this on the arc of the rainbow. Basically, I had stamped this previously and messed it up. So I cut another one and I'm just going to adhere that on top. So don't throw out a whole card. Try and take it apart if you mess up the stamping. It's not a big deal. Another reason I think slimline cards are so popular is just because it is fun to try a new size. Most card makers like to design the A2 size, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. Maybe you ventured into five by sevens, but making slimline cards is a way to shake it up and just make something a totally different size, which really impacts how you design the card. For this card, I wanted to do something very simple, but first I want to share with you how I score and cut my slimline cards. I take my eight and a half by 11 piece of white cardstock in my scoring board there, and then I either score it at three or three and a quarter, depending on the size that I'm making, just flatten that edge there, put it in my paper trimmer so that the edge is on the left hand side and then cut off the excess. So that's just a really super easy way to make this size of slimline card. Okay, now I have my die cuts. Those are from the Sentiment Sweet Hello dies from Pink Fresh Studio. And I have a stamp that I wanna use on the side of it. And this is just what's cool about slimline cards is that instead of having to stack them on top of each other, you get to run them from left to right. And I know it doesn't seem like that big of a deal, but just after you've been making tons and tons and tons of A2 cards, it just is something fun and different. So I did white heat and emboss that sub sentiment there that set has a bunch of really unique nice sub sentiments so definitely check it out in the description box below and once again I am layering a plain rectangle over a stitched rectangle it gives it a really nice edge to have that stitched edge there and the hello die has two layers as well so I'm going to layer those on top of each other and I'm just using some liquid adhesive to adhere the layers together and then to adhere the whole die cut down to the slimline card and then this one because I cut it larger that large three and a quarter I think it was you end up with a nice white edge around the outside 
As the trend for slimline carts has increased, the market has responded, and lots of companies are making awesome products that help you make slimline carts fast and easy. To start this card off, I am sharing a product that is not made for slimline cards. It is this nested diamond cling stamp, which is very cool because all of those diamonds come apart to single stamps. So you can put them all together like puzzle pieces to create an entire six by six stamp, or you can pull them apart and use them to make patterns, which is what I am doing here. I did die cut that white cardstock piece that's a rectangle with the Pink Fresh Studio Slim Stitched Rectangles. And this one is just the straight rectangle without the stitching. I am going to, of course, layer it on top of a stitched rectangle because I do like that finished edge. But you can see how these smaller pieces of the diamond are really unique and make a fun pattern on the background of the card. For the sentiment, I cut another white rectangle, and now I'm using the Slim Edgers die to cut a really fun, unique edge on the bottom of the rectangle. And you can see that it's got a little diamond cut out there and the corners are cut as well. I really love those Slim Edgers dies because they are long enough to stretch uh, the whole way of a slimline card. I did ink blend this with the same abandoned coral that I used in the background. So I had to heat set it and now I'm putting a bunch of anti-static powder on there because I'm afraid that it is still a little bit wet. And now I'm going to use Versamark ink to stamp the Simply Sentiments Hello stamp set. And I'm gonna heat emboss that with white embossing powder to make it really pop on that coral background there. So once it is heat set, I can just adhere it down. And I love the way that those borders look on the stamped background. I think another reason why people seem to love slimline cards is it makes it really easy to make fun and unique scenes. So whether it is a long street or a galaxy, slimline cards offer a totally different perspective on creating scenes on cards. So for this card, let's dive right into creating that galaxy background with the earth at the bottom there. So to start off, I am just doing dots from my ink blending tools of different Distress Oxide inks, and I'm doing them a bunch of different colors so that they will be kind of the color behind the black there. Now I'm using some Tonic Studios Nouveau Shimmer Powders and then spritzing that with water and picking up the water with a dry paper towel. I'm going to continue to add more of the shimmer powder and continue to spritz that with water which activates it and then continue to pick it up with uh, the paper towel. And then I'm gonna heat set it a little bit to move some of that water around, to move some of the color around. And you can see that there are moments where it looks like a hot mess, but it ends out looking like a galaxy. <laughs> For the earth, I am going to just ink blend a circle that I cut off the edge at the bottom there, because that's gonna go at the bottom of the card. And now I'm going to spritz some Distress Oxide Mode Green to paint the land forms on the earth. Now I am not doing this in any real way, I'm just putting like a bunch of green blobs on a blue earth to make it look like land on the water there so you know no real actual map thing going on there I'm going to adhere this onto the bottom of the rectangle and then I'm going to flip it over to trim off the edges and then I'm going to place this on a piece of black cardstock and that was cut with the slim stitched rectangle dies from Pink Fresh. I use some anti-static powder tool on the earth and then I am going to stamp it with Versamark ink and add some white embossing powder and it says hi over there friend. And then I just use a white gel pen to add some additional white stars to my galaxy background to make it really pop because I love the way that they look on that dark kind of colorful background. And this was super easy to do and I love the rectangle look of it because it really does look like an expansive galaxy. Speaking of different ways to design cards, I think that slimline cards make it easy to use lots of small die cuts or images all in a row. That row design is just unique and different and fun. For this card, I'm using an older die set from Pink Fresh Studio that was called Floral Squares, but really you can use what 
whatever tiny die cuts or stamped images that are die cut that you have, anything will work here. I just like the idea of having either a stack like this, one on top of each other, or a row next to each other of tiny images. And there are tons of great small images that would work for this design. The great thing about these squares is that there was a little bit of extra room in between them where I could fit the tiny little sentiments from the uh, Simply Sentiments Hello stamp set from Pink Fresh and use some VersaFine Black Onyx ink to stamp them. And I just really love the way that that came out. Super simple. Again, just use that scoring board to score at three inches, cut down in your trimmer, and then adhere to your card base and you have a side folding slimline card. Last but not least, slimline cards and the dies and unique products that are designed to create them make it really easy to make bookmarks so that you can give a gift and a card all in one. I had a lot of fun making these bookmarks. Of course you could use a paper trimmer, but I think that the dies make it really easy. So I die cut from the slim stitch rectangle, the plain rectangle here in white cardstock. And then I'm using a bunch of tiny little floral stamps. These are also from Pink Fresh Studio, but they're kind of old. You can use any little stamp or little pattern, or you could use a larger stamp and and stamp your pattern there, or you could even use pattern paper. So what I am doing is I am using Distress Oxide inks to ink up my little stamps, and the slimline cards will fit fine in the original Misty. Not in the mini Misty, but definitely in the original Misty. So if you want to do a bunch of stamping and you wanna make a lot of slimline cards, I would definitely recommend the original Misty over the mini misty okay i'm just stamping in some of the white space that was left there with some lighter colors of distress oxide ink now i'm going to use some legal size laminating pouches and i cut this down so that it was just going to be a little bit bigger on all the sides there so you see i cut down the bottom because i don't need all of that excess hanging and i put the bookmark all the way to the top of the fold there that will already be kind of folded and together, but the sides and the bottom will laminate in the Royal Sovereign Laminator. This is my favorite laminator. I use it for all of my foiling and everything else, and I love the way that it also laminates bookmarks. So now I'm going to cut off the edges there. Make sure that you leave enough seam that it doesn't fall apart. So you definitely wanna leave a little border around all of those edges so that it doesn't split open and then end up getting ruined. So I am just using a paper trimmer for that, and then I'm going to use a hole punch. I like to use my crocodile because it is very strong, and I am going to use the larger of the hole punch is on the crocodile there to punch a hole right in the middle, sort of at the top, giving again a little bit of border so that it doesn't tear. Now I took some uh, embroidery thread and I have the loops of the thread where I've cut one already because I did a bookmark before this. And now I'm gonna tie a knot around the loop there and I'm just gonna tie it really tight so that it makes a tassel. And I'm just, like I said, just gonna tie just a typical knot. And once I am done tying this knot and really tightening it, I'm just gonna put the strings down with the rest of the strings that are already hanging from that loop there. So you see, now I'm just going to trim the entire thing so that now I've basically created a tassel. Now I know there are tassel makers out there, this was a really, really easy way to do it. So I like this because you don't have to buy a special tool and all you're using is a bunch of thread, which is not that expensive. Okay, once I have my tassel, I am going to use a needle and thread to go through the loop of the tassel and through the hole of the bookmark. And then I'm going to tie it tight with a knot. I'm just using a basic knot here. Now, depending on how tough you're going to be on that tassel, you may want to use a couple of pieces of thread to tie that knot. So I did break one by yanking on it too hard, but now I know to be a little more gentle when I'm putting it in my book there. Okay, now for the card, I am going to stamp a simple floral and then a greeting at the bottom of the card. And I'm gonna use my score pal and my paper trimmer to create my card base. I'm going to adhere that pink card 
panel onto the card base and then trim off that bottom white edge there. And now I'm just gonna put a little bit of tape runner and I'm going to adhere the bookmark to the card. So that little bit of tape runner you can peel the bookmark right off because of that lamination. So it makes it really easy for the recipient to just peel off that bookmark or you can put it back on with that little bit of tape runner. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope if you haven't tried slimline cards yet, you will give them a try. I think they're a lot of fun. If you have tried them, I hope you'll let me know in the comments below whether you love making them as much as I do. All the products that I use today are linked down in the description below so you can check them out for yourself. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that bell so you can be notified when my next video is available. As always, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you again soon. Another reason I think slim I keep smacking my leg. <laughs> Another reason <laughs> the market has for some designs for cards for slimline cards that 